I'm Bear. And I'm Bert. And, and we're, we're the, the gaming, gaming parents. parents. The kids are in bed, the lights are off, let's play some games. Videos may include immature content, poor gameplay, and judginess. Not for impressionable children or whiny baby-like adults. Alright folks, we are back. Actually, it's a continuation. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to combine this in the previous thing. So For you it'll be seamless, but for me it's a bit jarring. Yeah, I'm going to combine this with the other thing. Because I am ready for this, <laughs> ready for this to be done, which might not sound like a glowing endorsement of how enjoyable this is. But like I said, this has been a learning experience for me. So I'm probably going to steer clear of non-blind. Just because if it's not new and exciting to me, then it probably won't be as much fun for you guys. I mean, this has been fun for me, but it feels like there's a certain diminishing returns. The more times you play a game, you know. I've got to find a good spot for my microphone. My kid's being very enjoying his stuff he's got. So I'm wearing all of the Alucard stuff. The sword, the shield, even the armor, despite the fact that it's quite a bit weaker than the walk armor. Although I do have, instead of the Necklace of Jay, i got double Noglamir. So my defense is the best it's ever been. I've even got on the Twilight Cloak, which actually, unlike the Joseph's Cloak, this glows. The Joseph's Cloak cannot glow, like at all. So now this is the ostensible best gear in the game. Ah. Okay, I'm just trying to get you. Oh, wow. Well. Yes, I have not used the... I didn't use the Alucard Sword until, until now because it's just, it's so standard. I mean, you use it mostly just like you use every other sword. And I prefer to use the ones that are interesting and more utility useful, like the Rune Sword or... Well, the Marcel you use mostly the same, but... It has the extra fire attack, which is where it burns the air itself. So here I've got all of Vlad's body parts, and that means... Whoa, the skulls come out and the hands go down, slash up. One, two, three... Spoiler alert, it's going to be 13. I don't need to wait and count all those. If you want to see a counting video, there's lots of those on YouTube, too. <laughs> Perhaps it's not in my best interest to say, oh, just look elsewhere. Whatever you want, you can look at, you can find it all over the place. Doesn't need to be for me. Maybe I should put my own counting video. So there's a save point, but I'm not going to save just yet. Ah! That slide. A heart refresh. I'm going to get the extra map squares up here first, and then I'll save, and then I'll check on my, um, my progress. Go up here, and I'm not even going to cross over, because I don't want to risk going in by accident. That slide. So is that it? No, nope, one, oh, I got the middle. I guess I do need to get kind of close to this hole. I uh, don't want to get sucked in. So now this is as much map coverage as I think it's possible to get. Again, unless I missed a breakable wall somewhere, which is entirely possible. Just kind of going from memory here. That slide. As I've shown about this game, I feel like I'm still... I like just barely scratching the surface because there's a lot of secret knowledge and everything. There's ways to glitch out the map so you can get squares outside of the intended map area. So now what I'm going to do is, if I can, uh, I might need to restart from from here. So if I go, just so I can check on my map coverage. Yes, I'll exit. Oh good, it stayed recording. 
sometimes when I stop the recording, it will, uh, or if I, if I turn off the Xbox, the recording will stop because it won't be getting an input. Come on. Yes, yes. Pretty sure I showed this in the first video. We've seen this all before. Yes, yes, I have a hard drive. So now I've got 200.2. I did miss something somewhere. Oh well. So that, I guess, yeah. The next video will be Last Boss Fight. Tune in next week. Surprise, I'm really just uh, going to split the recording manually. Yep, here we are. The last boss. I'm a bit sad that my sword familiar never leveled up enough. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard to farm enemies to to get him to that point, but I'm not going to do farming on camera. And this is not the kind of game I don't really want to do farming on cam off off camera either. Maybe if it was a new game, a game I had not done before and didn't know everything about or too much. I wonder if he minds being called a dark priest. He looks kind of pale, actually. And can you please turn off your annoying noise machine? And there's only ever one Belmont at a time. <coughs> I just told him I had a good deal, and he could not say no. <coughs> Explain how you're going to do that. Well, you see, I'm going to burn it. Oh no, not fire. I am strong against fire. Wow, that was ridiculously easy. Uh, no! Uh. cracked up to be. <coughs> the background opened the eyeball. So creepy. Uh, Not really. They tied her up. Boy, Dracula is very well manicured. It's like his left side, apparently, they seem to think. I will, wait, when did he defeat him the last time? <laughs> his true form is him on a chair, but with arms and wings and stuff. One... One, yeah. I've got so much defense. If I could do diagonals properly, I could do the that hit a lot better. If you do that sequentially again and again, you can like not get hit at all. Oh. More than one damage, oh no. Not the triangles. 
All right, I'm just going to miss my way, because those hands are glomming onto me. As far as last bosses go, <laughs> it's, I don't know, maybe I've just seen it too many times. It just is underwhelming. Just attack, attack, attack. If you have decent gear, he can't really touch you. Whoa. My true form involves me always having one leg crossed. Oh no. Hey, my sword did the trick. I've been just so defeated. That and my sword. I wonder if Dracula has like immortal perfect memory, like supernatural. I should have asked probably years ago. There's a lot of eternity in that family. Until the next time when I inevitably come back again. Oh, hey, these people. They've just been hanging out. Hard to read that. That volume is extra quiet all of a sudden. Indeed. Try not to bring it up, you jerk. <laughs> or at least until I'm needed at the turn of the century. Gotta take a break here. <laughs> oh, this is not the music I'm used to. I'm used to the weird jazz. Soft jazz. Where they sing about the wind or something. I suppose this is more fitting. It all seemed like the jazz was a bit of a weird, upbeat thing. And there I go again, talking about things that are of other things instead of what's right in front of us. I seem to have a bit of a habit of that. Always comparing this thing I see. Oh, it's like this other thing that I have that you can't see. But please try to think of it or imagine it or something. <sighs> well, this has been Castlevania Symphony of the Night. A classic, a paragon of Metroidvanias, one might say. In hindsight, though, I mean, whenever there's a game that sort of defines a genre, or even anything, really, it, uh, it's sort of going back from someone who hasn't seen the original but has seen things that ha ha it has inspired, it always seems a little underwhelming, it seems to me. Like, I was, uh, just the other day at work, someone suggested this song to me by Dio. D-I-O. Apparently they're a popular band. And their music, it sounded like, oh yeah, I've heard a lot of music like this. Turns out Dio was influential to them, but since they have had the benefit of, you know, time and experience to build off that, They've kind of like used it as a baseline and jumped from there. But the original was just kind of is good. But I mean, good things 
uh, perfected over time are better over time because they've had more chances to kind of figure out what works and what doesn't. I think that's one of the things that this game did really well is it really it tried a lot of different things. Like it tried the the heart weapons and then a bunch of different disposable weapons and equip slots. This has more equip slots than most of the um, the portable Castlevanias did. And I'm a little sad that there hasn't been a Castlevania game recently. But then there is Bloodstained coming out this year. Plus there's the other different Bloodstained that already came out. That's a little confusing to me about why they did that, but... I'm not a developer yet. So I don't have all the answers. So yeah, this game really tried a lot of different things. So it really paved the way for a bunch of other future games to experiment with those and further their possibilities. And now we've got the Metroidvania genre, which is hugely popular. Especially to me. I like them a lot. Anyway, this has been Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Tune in next week. Please like or comment to let us know which videos you'd like to see more of. If there's any you'd want to see less of, then you could, I don't know, cover your eyes or something. Either way, hit the subscribe button too, and uh, you get to see all of our new videos. There's at least one new one every week.